Hmm. He looks pretty tough. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Action Toys Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos Tough Trailer! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of a Tough Trailer in both of his modes. His name is Tough Trailer from Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos. Up top, Tough Trailer on this side, Tough Trailer on the other side, Tough Trailer on the top, Tough Trailer on the bottom, Tough Trailer on the back. We have our obligatory product shots and warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have tough trailer the next in this line of machine robo figures and here is tough trailer he's tough he doesn't have a trailer but he's still tough he's he's tough nonetheless but here he is and as you can see he's a very kind of weird looking truck weird looking truck mode but i can work with it i can work with it i think it's it's a weird looking truck but a cool looking truck at the same time but hey I dig it, I dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the whole front bumper there, just done in gray. You get some nice silver there and yellow for the headlights. Some nice silver right up top there for the grill. You get some red, you get some nice orange, trans clear and plastic with some nice molded details in there. You get some gunmetal gray. You get the rims done in silver, the wheel well itself done in silver. Some more silver, silver smokestacks. You get some nice molded detail back here. Some more silverage going on. You got the taillights picked out in red. And there is the top, there is the bottom. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Mixer Robo. Since it's the only other uh, truck in this line. You can see how that works out. And just for a further sense of scale, here it is with the uh, Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. Just again, so you can get a sense of scale. And before anyone asks, no, you can't put this trailer on on tough trailer. It doesn't. It don't work. It, 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 don't, it don't really work that well. Yeah. No. 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 Just. Just no. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he does have armaments, but it's all uh, very cleverly stored underneath the truck mode. You can see it all in pieces right there. So it all stores in the truck mode, which is quite cool. And we'll go more into detail with the weapons in a little bit, but yeah. That is basically it for the truck mode. Again, it's an interesting truck mode. It's a weird looking truck mode, but I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Hey, hey, you get a good spin out of this guy. It's like butter. It's like butter. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to remove these weapons. They just untab from these two tabs right here. Put that off to the side for now. And then we will come back here to these rear wheels and just pull them out to untab them. Just bring this assembly down, untab, bring this down, and now we can release this part of the weapons and it tabs up in here. Let's just kind of pull this up. And just wiggle that out. And you take this, put that off to the side. And now we can commence. So let me raise up a little bit so I got some rooms to operate. There we go. So what you want to do is you want to come to these side panels here, just pop them up, bring them back, pop it up, and bring that back. Um, these side panels here clip in to the sides of his forearms here, so just unclip that, and whoop, unclip, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to pop it off, you just want to unclip it, there we go, unclip it. There we go. And once we have done that, we can raise all of this up like so. And this can rotate to get out of your way. So you just bring the arms around and you untab these and you bring the shoulders forward. Good. Just swing that out of the way to swing the arms forward like so. 
And we'll get the arms all situated in a little bit, but we'll get this section done now. So this section, this little clip section here does lock in. So you just pop that down, swing this out. Then you can bring this panel all the way around like that. Bring that down and this will just shift in and just clip in right there. Second verse, just like the first, just kind of pop this hinge down, bring it out, bring that down, swing this panel all the way around, bring this in, clippy clip, there you go. We can leave all that alone for now. So now that we've done all that, you wanna grab this top section here and just give it a tug and all of this will come up. Still ratchets. Whoop. Just bring that up like so, and once you've done that, need to raise up a little more. There we go. Then you want to bring this section down like that. At this point now, we can come under here and flip out these silver sections here. Bring down this nose, and there are tabs that will go into these little slots right up in there. Just line that up, and tabity tab and tabity tab that will secure that in place and at this point now we'll uh we'll just finish up his arms so just rotate the elbow you want this detail facing out then just rotate the forearm in this section here you just untab and then shift it up and tap it back in that gives him a nice looking forearm same thing on the other side again just rotate this around so you have this detail facing out Rotate the forearm in, undo that, and just shift all of this up, dab it back in, and there you have his arms all done. You take the smokestacks, just bring them forward, like so. Just like little cool shoulder guns. That's pretty cool. And there we go. So at this point now, we'll just come back here. And you want to pop his head out. There's a bit of a clearance issue. Like this hinge right here is like right up against his head. So you have to just kind of pop it up. That was actually the easiest time I had doing that. But pop his head up. Rotate around. And now for the backpack, you want to bring it up. You want to swing this around. And this is going to clip over this. And you have a tab. You have this tab right here, which will end up right in here. So you kind of have to do this together. So to bring that up. Line that up and everything should tab right in. Oops, once you have everything lined up properly. There you go. There you guys backpack. So you got that. So we're basically done with the upper body. Now we move on to the lower body. So what we're gonna do here is just take the front section, just pull it down. And then these wheels are going to shift in just a little bit like so. You can take this panel here and we can now flip this down. I'll just tab in right there. What you want to do here is you want to rotate the foot. You want to unclip this section here. That will become his toe and then the entire foot will just swing around like so. And then what we're doing here with this wheel section is we're going to rotate this around and fold it in on this double hinge. So it sits like that, and then this will just collapse up into the leg like so. And second verse, guess what? Just like the first, so I just pop that down, take these wheels, shift them over, and rotate the foot, unclip this section, bring that down, swing the foot around like so, and then just swing this around, collapse that in, Collapse all this into the leg. And oops. Take this panel, bring it down. Pull that in. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ooh, we're done. And there you have Tough Trailer in his robot mode. And he looks really cool in my opinion. I really do like this design. I personally quite dig it so let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest at his noggin there's that noggin that's a nice head sculpt there get the eyes done in yellow nice silver there for the face as well 
Overall, a good looking head sculpt. Got some smokestack shoulder cannons going on there. Prime never thought of that. Why didn't Prime think of that? No. <laughs> but, let's see. Overall, nice design, his big old feet. It's a pretty clean transformation. I mean, he has, you know, some folded up panels on his back, but overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, he had his on a ball joint, so you got all your wiggly-waggly. You can look up very slightly, look down, head can do a full 360. Arms, shoulders are on a big ball joint, can do a full 360, can move in and out, but you're only going to get about that far, so not too much range of movement there. Uh, you got rotation right above the elbow. Um, a bit under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have forearm rotation also. You have wrist rotation. Um, you do have waist rotation, but if you go too far, you're going to unclip his belly there. So that's a bit of a drawback in the design, unfortunately. Now, as far as the legs go, unfortunately, his belly does hinder the leg movement. Because forward, you're only going to get about that far. Unfortunately, again, you can get more if you unclip his belly. You can get all the way up, but you have to unclip his belly to do it. So again, you know, that part of the design is a bit of a drawback. So forward, you can only get about that far if you leave his belly clipped in. Back, you can get very far. Outward, you can do the full splits and then some. Um, ratcheted thigh rotation. It's a ratcheted knee, but it's a soft ratchet. You can get over 90 degrees of bend there. As far as feet go, you can see they're on a big ball joint. They can move up, down, rotation, and you have your ankle tiltage. And of course, we can give him his weapons. We have to put his weapons together, though. So this section here, you just pop this off, and this will plug on to the back, like that. And then you have two different kinds of barrels here. Just untab them. If you want the uh, more Gatling gun barrel, you can put that on there if you want to. If you don't, you can plug that on there like so, and that's kind of a it's kind of a primey looking gun, ain't it? Ain't it? Kinda, kinda, kinda. But you can take that, plug that into his hand. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and you can take these guns and just tab them the backwards form like so for further pew pewing and bang banging and all of that good stuff right there and like with all of these machine robo figures you do get the uh modular display base here and you get way more pieces with tough trailer here um you get the two base pieces that come with every figure and of course these little bracket pieces but as you can see you get a lot more here so you can kind of get crazy with the configurations you get a lot more base pieces you get some extra rectangular pieces these extra pieces right here so you can make the base even bigger and um yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> You get these little L brackets and whatnot. Um, you get two sets of arms. You get the you know the standard arms. And you get some longer ones. And this is just one configuration that they show you on the box. You can just kind of have them hanging out there, like he's getting you know like he's getting refit or something. I don't know. Like it's like a docking station, a charging station for him or something. But again, that's just one configuration they show you on the packaging. But you can go totally nuts and you know do what you want here and if you have more of these bases as always the more you have the more you can do and you can totally get crazy with the uh with the display here so that's one thing you can do if you want to do it but you can also do this configuration if you want and this is shown in the uh instructions here and you have this clip and that's on a ratchet that's on a ratchet i can move forward and back side to side all that good stuff and this is for a tough trailer and you can just clip this onto his gluteus maximus, onto his tough booty, and you know use that as a stand for him and get him in some you know some jumping, some jumping fighting poses. Do what you want there, you know, like he's leaping into battle or something. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Uh, here he is with Buggy Robo, since we took a look at him the other day. Here he is with Mixer Robo. Here he is with the uh, DX Bike Robo, aka Psykill. See his little 
bit bigger. Here he is with Earthrise Prime, again, to give you that sense of the size of this figure. And also here he is with Ultra Magnus. So you can see how that works out. So There you go. So there you have Tough Trailer. And yeah, I really like him. I really do. Um, you know, the truck mode is weird, but it's kind of cool. I can work with it. Um, the robot mode, I really like the design of the robot mode. Um, you know, the only downside is just articulation is limited in some places, unfortunately. But overall, it's a really nicely done, very solid figure, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Action Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Machine Robo GoBots playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Action Toys Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos Tough Trailer. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Uh, hey there! I've never seen you around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm new around here. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you look like a strong one. You look tough. You wanna join me and my crew? Nah, uh, nah, nah, not really. I'm good. Are you sure about that? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm more the loner type. Oh, I see, I see. Well, let me ask you one question first. Can you rise? What? Oh, for Primus' sakes! Who's Primus? What? Ha! Crossovers suck! <laughs>